Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before starting with this episode, allow me to start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, The true believer is he whose rage does not take him out of the right and the one whose satisfaction does not enter him into wrong. When he has power, he should not seize more than that which is his right. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you and welcome to Is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, mentioning some of the prophetic sayings said in his right and then ending with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, we are still talking about fitna or sedition in Kufa. Our respected viewers, word spread quickly about the speech of Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, including his threat to the community leaders to turn over the list of Shia names. When news reached Muslim bin Aqil, Imam Hussein's messenger to Kufa, he was still staying in the home of Al-Mukhtar. However, our respected viewers, his presence in that home was well known as he had already been visited by 8,000 men wishing to pledge their oath of allegiance to the Imam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. The government, our respected viewers, was keenly aware of his activities and whereabouts, and a move against him could come at any time. Thus, our respected viewers, Muslim bin Aqil made arrangements to relocate to the home of Hani bin Arwa, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Although the Shia of Kufa continued to visit him in his new location, it was now done in a secretive manner in order to conceal his presence from the government. It is recorded, our respected viewers, that while in Hani bin Arwa's home, the number of pledges surpassed 25,000 and at that time Muslim considered launching an uprising against the unlawful government. Yet our respected viewers, Hani bin Urwa alayhi salam said to Muslim bin Aqil, do not be hasty in this affair. At this time, Ibn Ziyad, Allah's curses be upon him, was already moving into action against Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings be upon him. Having lost knowledge of his whereabouts, he called for his servant, Muqabil, and gave him 3,000 dirhams. He, however, ordered him to seek out Muslim and his followers and to use the money to buy his way into their inner circle by appearing to be a supporter willing to give in the way of their cause. Sadly, our respected viewers, it did not take long for Muqabil to infiltrate the supporters of Muslim bin Aqil and the Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. However, after loitering in the mosque for some time, he heard some people talking about another man there who was busy in prayer named Muslim bin Awsaja al-Asadi. However, when Awsaja al-Asadi had finished in his acts of worship, the cunning Muqabil approached him with a confabulated sob story to gain his sympathy, saying that he loved the holy house of Prophet Muhammad and had 3,000 dirhams to give in the way of their cause and love. However, Muqabil said he wanted to give his allegiance directly to Muslim bin Aqil, Imam Hussein's messenger to Kufa. Allah's blessings and peace be upon them both. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.